Want to build yourself an awesome gaming PC for $500? Say hello to the Photon. Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with my latest build, the Photon. With a budget of $500, you're looking at a PC that can handle games at 1080p without breaking a sweat. Run it through the 3DMark Firestrike benchmark, which is a good general test of a gaming PC's performance, and here the Photon stacks up nicely against some of my other builds. Take a look at Battlefield 4, and we've got a solid 48 frames per second running on high at 1080p. Jump over to Metro Last Light, a game that's not only fun but also incredibly demanding, and here we're able to run things on normal at 46 FPS. With Bioshock Infinite, things can be bumped up to very high settings and still get a nice and smooth 54 frames per second. If you like racing games, Grid 2 is a fun choice, and the Photon handles it nicely on Ultra at 43 FPS. And because I know you guys are going to ask, I did try running Watch Dogs on the Photon. So I was able to get running decently on medium settings at 1080p, however I was seeing some pretty decent stuttering, which unfortunately I've seen on basically all versions of the PC right now. So for more in-depth benchmarking, I'm going to wait until we at least see some patches or some driver updates to kind of address that. But it is playable on the Photon. Now let's take a closer look at all the parts that make up the Photon, starting with the case, which is the new Corsair Spec 01. This is a full-sized ATX chassis with a big window along with the front LED fan. As a Corsair case, it's nice and easy to work in, and about the only thing I wish it had was a second exhaust fan, but that's an easy enough upgrade. For the processor, the Photon is using an AMD Athlon X4760K. It delivers a quad-core design clocked at up to 4.1 GHz, which is a good fit for 1080p gaming. I have lost track of how many budget gaming PCs I've built using Athlons, as they're rock-solid CPUs that can even be overclocked. On the graphics side, we've got a Sapphire Radeon R7260X. This is a great card with support for things like AMD's Mantle and True Audio, along with 2GB of memory, which is getting more and more important these days. Take a look at the motherboard, and we've got an MSI A78M E35. This is another one of my go-to choices that accepts up to 16GB of RAM, has both USB 3.0 and SATA 3, along with support for Kaveri. For storage, we've got what in my opinion is the best hard drive for a gaming PC build, the Western Digital Caviar Black. With 1TB of capacity, this is the next best thing to an SSD, and it's going to cost you a lot less. On the memory side, the Photon uses 8GB of crucial Ballistic Sport RAM. Clocked at 1600MHz, this is great stuff for gaming, and since it comes in a single DIMM, you can always add another to bump up memory to 16GB later on. I feel like a broken record here, as I've only used these things a million times before, but for the power supply, we have the Corsair CX430. These are a great choice that are not only going to be reliable and efficient, but they also give you plenty of power to handle the system as is, as well as with some additional upgrades later on. Put it all together, and the Photon is a killer gaming PC that doesn't break the bank. Even though the Photon is around $500 as of recording this video, things change all the time. So I'll have up-to-date links of everything I talked about in the description of this video over on my website. So definitely go check that out. Anyway, huge shout out to Hulu Plus for making this video possible. You've probably tried Hulu on your computer, but Hulu Plus is so much more. With Hulu Plus, you can watch current season episodes of your favorite shows like The Colbert Report, Shark Tank, and Family Guy, along with every episode of shows like Naruto, South Park, and Doctor Who. Another show I've been really enjoying is Cosmos, and you guys can find the entire season over on Hulu Plus. For only $7.99 a month, you can get your shows anytime, anywhere. Considering that's like a quarter a day, it is so worth it. Just go to huluplus.com slash Austin, and you'll be able to try it out for free for two weeks and help support the channel. Again, that's huluplus.com slash Austin, so definitely go check it out and start streaming TV today. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.